Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Ever wondered what's going to happen if you invest $10 every single day? How much money would you have on your bank account in 20 years? And how much of a passive income would that amount of money generate you every single year after you stop investing in 20 years? If you're interested, continue watching this video. By the way, it's brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. Now, what is $10 for me? For me, as a person living in San Francisco, $10 means buying a coffee and a croissant every day. But if I end up going to a fancier coffee shop like Blue Bottle, I would even exceed $10. So if I decide to have my coffee at home, which I already do, and if you get a coffee from Nespresso delivered to your home, for me it costs like I think 25 cents a cup. And uh, if you try to eliminate gluten from your diet and not get that croissant, then $10 sound like an easy daily saving. I know that in some countries, in some states, $10 might be a more significant amount than uh, what it is in, here in Silicon Valley in San Francisco, but you could start investing as little as $5 every day because still in 20 years, you're gonna be able to generate a significant amount of money. I hope I got you excited. And uh, before we dig into how much you're gonna make in 20 years, I'm gonna explain you what compound interest is. Now, before we proceed, I want to talk to you about a thing that is called compound interest. And it's a magic thing because Warren Buffett once said that he made all of his money thanks to being born in America, some lucky genes and compound interest. The way I prefer to think about compound interest is it's the snowball effect that helps you make interest on interest and uh, this way your money grows at exponential rate. Let me explain this uh, from a mathematical standpoint. So here's a formula that explains how much you're gonna make in interest in one taken month. So you have your principal, how much you have in your account. You have APY in percent divided by 12 months and this is how much you're gonna be getting every single month as an interest. So let's say you already have $1,000 in your account. That means you've been investing $10 every single day for 100 days. Then multiply that by 7% divided by 12 months and, well, 7% should be 0.0, .0 right? And you end up getting $583 a month. But what interesting is what happens at the end of the month. So these $5 are added to your principal and you start the next month with $1,000, 5.83. But the thing that I'm suggesting you also do is you add extra, say $300, because you've been saving $10 every day and then at the end of the month, you just put them on your bank account. So you are helping compound interest by adding more and more money into the machines. So the next month, you're already starting with $1,305 and you have the same formula going on. And this snowball effect continues and continues. Now, very soon, we're gonna learn how much you're gonna end up having on your account with the help of this compound interest magic. But you're gonna ask me, Marina, where do I get those rates? Where do I get 7% rate? Where do I get 9% rate? If you're interested in learning more about things that you can invest in, uh, there is a great course on The Great Courses Plus by a guy who's a professor at Duke University and he has been teaching there. He has graduated from Harvard and he's gonna tell you about every single instrument that you can use to invest in like real estate, gold, ETFs, stocks, everything that's out there is gonna be explained to you by him. And I think it's really great to have this reputable source of information when you're learning something as complex as investing. And because The Great Courses Plus are sponsoring this video, there is a link below that you can use to get a free trial of their platform and watch this course for free. The Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video learning service with top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from the Ivy League and other great universities globally. Through your subscription, you get access to a huge library of over 11,000 video lectures about anything that interests you. Science, math, history, literature, and investing. So the link is down below. Click it to get your free trial. So first of all, the higher the rate is, the riskier your investment is. And the least risky way to save your money is to put them into a savings account. But 
I wouldn't even call that investing because, well, if you choose a good account like, I don't know, Capital One, Marcus by Goldman Sachs or Ally Bank, which pay you more than one tenth of percent, you will still end up getting 1.5%, 1.75%, maybe 2% if you're lucky. But I would still advise you to have some money in those savings accounts because we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, we don't know what's gonna happen in the week. And uh, you know, for me, it's really important to have these savings that I know I can spend right away if something happens. But then once you have those, I would start investing into riskier assets. And let's take a quick look. So for example, S&P 500, the index that has stocks of different companies ranging from oil and gas to media and healthcare. This index fund has been growing at a rate of 9% for the past 15 years. Now I personally have invested into an index fund with Vanguard, it is called VT Sachs and it has been growing at approximately 5.79% over the past 20 years. So my suggestion would be diversifying your $300 a month or $10 a day uh, between those higher yielding index funds. And you can invest through Vanguard or any other app that's on the market. Of course, there are other ways to invest with um, higher and lower rates, but this is something I decided that I would uh, invest in because it looks easy and I'm not a professional investor and uh, I just wanna put my money there and uh, watch it grow and not really manage my funds every single day. I just want to, you know, add money and add money and uh, uh, relax and do something that I'm better at, like making these videos. And now let's take a look what's actually gonna happen to your bank account in 20 years if you invest $10 every single day at 7% return rate. Okay, here's a quick website, saving.org. So for example, you save $10 every day for the next 20 years at an investment return 7%. For example, you invested in something similar to S&P 500 or VT Sachs we've talked about and we press calculate. So in 20 years, you will have $159,278 on your bank account. Now, this is already a substantial amount of money, but what's more exciting about this amount is that in 20 years, you can stop investing. You're like, okay, I'm done saving $10 every day. I want to get my Starbucks coffee. I want to get my croissant but you still have those $159,000 that you can still invest. This is your principal. And let's take a quick look. So you take those $159,000 and this is your initial deposit. There is zero monthly contribution and uh, say you invest them for a year at a rate of 7%. You see what's gonna happen? You're gonna earn interest of $11,000. That means that those $159,000 in 20 years, they would passively make you $11,000 in a year. And this is what everyone calls passive income. Okay, let's look at another situation. For example, you decided to invest $12 instead of 10 because you decided to save on clothes, you decided to save on a car, whatever. This extra $2 savings a day. Let's see what's gonna happen to your bank account. So $12 every day for 20 years at 7% rate. $191 thousand dollars so you have over thirty thousand dollars extra on your account now in 20 years and so for example you decide to invest them again at seven percent thirteen thousand three hundred seventy nine dollars of passive income in 20 years and remember in 20 years you stop investing i suggest you don't stop but let's imagine you stop investing you stop saving money you're just making $13,000 a year and you still have your principal, you still have your $191,000 in your account. Sounds amazing, right? And uh, what you have to do right now, first take this effort and try to save at least $10 a day. And okay, if uh, $10 is impossible to save, we can take a look at $5 saved every day at 7% return rate for 20 years it's still $79,000. You know, just mentally absorb that. $5 saved every day for 20 years at 7% interest rate with a compound interest gets you to $79,000. And second, yes, you need to learn how to invest money, but there is safe, kind of safe uh, things to invest in like Vanguard index funds, S&P 500. You just need to choose a NAP or a brokerage that you're gonna work with. Uh, look at the fees and stuff and you know, just start investing. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I would just tell you that I'm using Vanguard. And in the past four weeks, I've made around $900. Um, 
just because I invested in a VT Sachs fund, uh, the one that I've talked about. And then yeah, you just need to wait and you just need to be consistent with what you do. And hopefully in 20 years, uh, we're gonna get you to that 11,000 or 13,000 uh, passive income. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and you're interested in uh, making more money starting a business, then there is a red button down below. Hit it and subscribe and I will see you very soon in my next videos.